Let's take you back to Victoria now, where firefighters are preparing for pretty extreme conditions today. Joining me live is the Pyrenees Shire Mayor, Robert Vance, who's currently based about 20 kilometres from the town of Elmer, Elmhurst. Sorry, uh, Mayor, good to see you. First of all, what is the situation where you are? How worried are you? Uh Look, at the moment, it is eerily calm, Laura. <laughs> There's very, very little wind and the cloud cover has come over from the west. But once that front moves through, as the day goes on, we're expecting we might be in for some strong winds and that's when the excitement will start up again. I hope it doesn't happen, but at mm. the moment, it's eerily calm. Yeah, we just heard from the CFA, had them on the program just a couple of moments ago, saying, look, it is eerily calm at the moment, exactly what you're saying, Robert, but do not get lulled into a false sense of security. So uh, what are you seeing there at the moment? Are, you know, residents in the area prepared? Have they been through this kind of thing before? Is there lots of smoke around? It's been some years since, well, there's been a fire in this yeah. particular range. There's never been anything to this extent, extent Laura. It's uh, um, a massive fire, 175 kilometres around the perimeter of the fire. Mm. Uh, we are extremely fortunate that we have so many uh, brigades patrolling the boundaries and the helicopters are doing an absolutely marvellous job. And you're a farmer and you're going to stay on your farm? You're not going to evacuate? Currently, at the, no, I won't be evacuating. Currently, at the moment, uh, our property is 20 kilometres to the west of the fire. Yep. So, uh, and I believe the fire is have a very strong uh, barrier between Elmhurst and the forest itself where the fire has been burning. So mm. if the fire happens to get over Elmhurst and into the Pyrenees range, then that's time for people in our region to start seriously thinking about um, me moving out. Yeah, okay, but you you won't? At what point will you evacuate, Robert? Uh, when the fire's about 20 metres from, <laughs> from the boundary of the, the property, yeah. We've done a reasonable, uh, reasonable amount of work mm. in making our property safe, but, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Oh, look, mate, it's it's kind of weird and, and also quite concerning that we're starting to see these catastrophic fire days towards the end of summer. You know, we kind of thought we were out of the woods um, missing summer, but now that hot weather that's coming, it can, I imagine, feel like a, a pretty lonely time uh, when these fires are so close to you, but are you getting all the help and, most importantly, the communication that you need? Yeah, I believe the ABC and uh, the Vic Pole and uh, the, the incident control people are doing a marvellous job in keeping people up to speed. The, the appropriate uh, services are all marvellous. We've got mm. uh, wonderful help at our research. Uh, centres where people are going so and the neighbouring councils all around us have been absolutely marvellous in supporting us. Oh, that's good to hear Robert. Well you take care. Um, please evacuate <laughs> if those fires get too close. Um, yeah. I know you want to look after your land and there'll be plenty of people wanting to look after their land and livelihoods over these uh, next couple of days as well but uh, do take care. Thanks Laura. Thank you very much.